Well, you know how we love our pizza. We've been talking about this all week from rolling out the dough to slicing it up, be it triangle or party cut. Is there really a wrong way to enjoy pizza in Chicago? Some would say there is. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of debate over tavern style mm. or deep dish. There's pizza passion. No. There's lots of it's, there's lots of real. eggs here, <laughs> and it's time to announce the Chicago Pizza Champion. After so many of you took to our Twitter page to Go. vote and vote and vote, CBS 2's <laughs> yes. Jackie Kostick with the championship contenders, Luminati's and Vito and Nick's. Jackie, you've got the champ for us. We've got like a chain here versus a local spot. Yeah, who's taking the title? <laughs> Yeah, Ryan and Audrina, we've had so much fun all morning long, but really all week long, starting with our Sweet 16 of our Chicago Pizza Tournament. But it has all come down to this moment. We've been breaking it down uh, phase by phase, round by round, all week, and we've come down to the final two. But we're actually, we've got the whole final four. So this is like an embarrassment of riches this morning. Joe from Aurelio's, what are we looking at here first? Uh, we have our signature Super 6 and our classic cheese and sausage. What do you experience? when you bite into your pie? Uh, it's the homemade light crispy crust, <laughs> or homemade sausage, and it's the sauce. Classic sauce, yes. classic sauce. Sean from Pequod's, tell me about what we're looking at with uh, your deep like dish classic pie. Classic pepperoni pizza and our signature sort of sausage pepperoni go-to. And, and the caramelization. The caramel, it's a sweet, bready, crispy crust that just melts in your mouth. You don't even have to tell me how you feel because you I just know. told me. Uh, you can't stop you know. eating it. I love I know. it. <laughs> I know. All right, we're going to move on to Rose and Nick from Vito and Nick's. Uh, good morning to you. What are we looking at? This one is our reef and hot jardinera pizza. Hot jardinera is a total classic for Chicago. What do you experience when you bite into this? I think I'm eating a beef sandwich. <laughs> So it's like two Chicago classics put together. Well, that's how I feel. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you've got bread, you've got your tomato sauce, you've got your beef, and you've got hot jardinier on it. All that is good in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and Rick from Luminati's on the end, what are we looking at? We got a pepperoni and then we got the Chicago classic. Mm. What do you experience when you eat this pizza? You told me you just had some yesterday when you were watching basketball. I'm always eating pizza, but it's like, <laughs> you know, like a symphony of flavors, right? But it's the crust, I think, that separates our pizza and it's the butter. It's special. All of the pizzas out here are special today. I was saying all morning long that there are really no losers when it comes to the final four all or all of the Sweet 16, but there really is only one true winner. But let's talk a little bit about the history of these two spots. So Luminati is, I know it was your dad who started it, right? My dad, Lou, yes, 1971, dad. 52 oh. years ago. Oh my gosh. And how did it become what it is today? You know, we've had great employees, you know, just people that have been part of our family. So it's just a family tradition that, uh, you know, a lot of people are working really hard, just like these guys, you know, people that worked hard and, you know, just grew the business. I think what's really special about our final four today is we have two of the bigger chains in Aurelio's and Luminati's and two of the uh, smaller places with Vito and Nick's with one location and Pequod's with the original suburban location and the Lincoln Park location. And we also have two deep dish pies and two thin crust pies, which is super special. Okay, Rose, talk a little bit about the history of Vito and Nick's. Vito and Nick's started, the actual piece that started uh, fall of 1945. However, we started our business in 1920. And it, my grandfather had a tavern, speakeasy at first, and then moved in. But my grandmother did all the cooking. And while my dad was in service, she he asked her to find a recipe for thin crust. And when he came home from the service, she, she had perfected it. Oh. I love that story, Rose. That is so, so special. And give a little shout out to your fans because when we talk about the folks oh, that have been on social media. Our fans? Yes. We wouldn't be here today. I want to thank everybody who comes we to love us. You all. Yes. Okay, you guys, it has all come down to this final moment. Thousands of you have cast your votes on Facebook and Twitter all week long. So I've got the uh, certificate, the winner, and uh, cue up the one shining moment. So uh, with 52% of the vote for your Chicago pizza champion, it is, oh, drum roll, drum roll. 
it is Vito and Nix, and I really, oh. <laughs> yes, it is Vito and Nix with 52% of the vote. Bragging rights. <laughs> you have so many bragging rights. How do you guys feel this morning? Oh, Wonderful. Yes. Awesome. Really. Nick, what about you? Awesome, awesome, yeah. Awesome. Okay, and you know, one, one thing that we were talking about earlier this morning as well is this is Chicago. This is Chicago pizza. Pizza is Chicago. So thank you guys so much for coming out this morning. This has thank been you. such a delight. Any last words for your fans? Thank you for all coming and and for great employees we have. If it weren't for them also, we wouldn't be here. You guys, all of these places have been saying all morning long that they, of course, did struggle during the pandemic and, of course, with the labor shortages as well. So if you love your Chicago pizza places, this is your call to action to go to support them um, in their restaurants and ordering delivery as well, because we got to keep all of these special Chicago places in business. I didn't even hand this to you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Ryan and Audrina, yeah. back to you guys. Congrats. <laughs> We're fist Vito pumping in here. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, it's so cool to hear the history behind mm -hmm. the spots that we love.